The Hull House, season 3, episode 3, Watching and Dreaming, happens to be the final episode of the show. After, after executive decided that the series did not fit in the Disney brand, it was revealed that the promised third season would be the series' last and consists of only three 44-minute specials. The first one which premiered on October 15, 2022. The House gave us almost everything that it could have in its limited three-episode final season. And also gave us a gut punch in the finale that is going to stick with us for some time. The House finale will be available on stream on Disney Plus on April 9th. I think that this show actually deserved having 22 episodes like all the other ones per season obviously. I'm really sad that we only had 3 episodes but I feel like even though we only got 3 episodes they were actually pretty epic and that the crew really did an amazing job with every single one of them. Animation, the storyline, voices, coloring, everything about every episode was so beautiful. Especially the character designs and the new new outfits and new forms that we saw each character embracing. It was really epic and I'm really happy with how uh, everything turned out. The Owl House was one of the last big story arc shows that just came to an end. And even though I'm sure that we're all a bit sad that it ended, just know that even though it ended, it happened, and I'm so happy it happened, and that you never know. Maybe in a couple of years, or maybe even months, something new Little House could pop up. Maybe it could be more episodes, or a comic, or a spin-off. I feel like the finale, the way that they has been set, there is a lot of room for them to do that, and they could come back and continue the story. If not, just be sure that there's going to be a lot of content online that helps you fill that void. <laughs> I got no complaints. Dana and her team managed to overcome the odds and meddling to give us what was as close to perfect as possible. If anything, the fact that it ended prematurely means that people will talk about it with more reverence, thus making it more popular than ever which, objectively speaking, is the best form of payback Dana, Terrace, and her team, and the fans, could hope to get from the Disney XX for now regarding the decision. How this show left its characters is just perfect. I'm really going to miss the series and this story-driven era of Disney Channel, but I'm so glad that it happened and that I got to experience it. And now, Dana Terrace has left Disney behind for greener pastures. She and her team did an incredible job. I don't know what she'll do next or if, or if she's going to just live her life now, but I'm happy for her. Either way, I'll forever love and miss this amazing piece of art. It's very sad to see the show go. And in all honesty, it's without a doubt one of the best modern cartoons out there right now. I'm glad I got a proper send-off, but Disney should have treated it better. I could see Del House come back as a movie. I really like the end credit scenes the most actually. Because I honestly it was like the only time I've actually like watched the credits. Cause it was so amazing. Like I love like looking at all of them in the future so much fun i love seeing eight like 18 year old blues it's so cute what was your favorite part from the finale let me know down below i read all the comments i promise <laughs> with that being said have a wonderful day and bye